Happy mid-morning, guys. All right. Uh, so we're going to kind of continue almost a little bit on what I was talking about this morning. But let me ask you this. How likely are you to, or how likely is somebody in your family to, report one another to the federal government because you may be a potential terrorist? Well, if you live in New Zealand, that's exactly what's going on. And how often have I said, watch what happens in Europe, or in this case, New Zealand, and wait for it to come here. I want you to watch a short clip here real quick that was first posted by Wall Street Silver uh, up on his Twitter page. But this is the director of the New Zealand Security Intelligence Service speaking over the weekend. Our Secret Service is launching an initiative to help us identify people who may have been radicalised. Know the Signs details dozens of indicators that a friend or family member could be planning a terror attack. As Adam Hollingworth reports, the move comes as our spy chiefs identify a new and worrying type of terrorism. Time was when the intelligence services were never seen, never heard. But now they're loudly proclaiming, your country needs you to keep an eye on those you know, and if necessary, dob them in. Recognising a potential warning sign and then alerting NZSAS or police could be the vital piece in the puzzle that ultimately saves lives. To that end, they're publishing a guide called Know the Signs to help us all identify potential terrorists in our midst. To pay attention if they are, and to be alert, so that if they see or hear about something that seems off, um, that worries them and concerns them, they might have a look at this information to say, does this indicate to me that this person is on the road to actually committing an attack? The SIS has listed around 50 signs from obvious ones, like writing on a weapon, as happened in Christchurch, to... A person who is, who is really developing an us-versus-them worldview. Authorities say they're usually closely monitoring 40 to 50 potential terrorists. These people used to be motivated by their white identity or by their faith. But in the past six months, a third group has emerged, those motivated by politics. And so it could be the COVID measures that the government took, and so it could be the COVID measures that the government took, or it could be other policies that are interpreted as, as infringing on rights. Uh, and, and, and it's a, a, what I sometimes describe as a kind of hot mess of, of ideologies and beliefs, um, fueled by conspiracy theories, fueled by conspiracy theories. The launch of the initiative Know the Signs is an indicator that the security services know that they can't do it alone. They need the help of the public. But to some, the guide is a first step only. How do we upskill those people in our community who are much closer to people who might be potentially radicalised and get them to understand what it is they're seeing? That's our challenge. Adam Hollingworth, News Hub. So if you listen to their, the report about two-thirds of the way through there, the video, the announcer says, Terrorism used to be based on people's white identity or on their religion. Okay, now I'll give you, if you want to go back 70, 80, 100 years in the United States, sure, white identity, you had the KKK. I'll give you that. It was 100 years ago. If you want to go based on religion, okay, yeah, I could think of, oh, Al-Qaeda, ISIS, yeah, okay, I'll give you those terrorists. But now they're starting to call people, or wanting to call people, or thinking that people are, have the potential for terrorism based on their political ideas. And if you listen to what the director said, first off, she says, the way the country handled covid Gee, I'm sorry, if you disagree with Dr. Fauci, you're now a terrorist. Okay, that's pushing it. I disagree with things my doctor says every once in a while, and they're actually face-to-face -face with me, you know, dealing with something specifically about me, and I'll disagree. I'm entitled to that. I'm entitled to disagree with a decision that comes out of Washington. Yeah. Yeah. As she went on, no, not based on some conspiracy theory or anything like that. 
I don't agree with sending nearly $100 billion to Ukraine. I don't agree with opening up the southern border. I don't agree with defunding the police. That doesn't make me a terrorist. It doesn't make you one either. But in the eyes of these globalists, these socialists, that want everybody to do as they say, that's exactly what it means. If you're against, if you disagree with them, you're an enemy of the state. That's what they're, that's what they're talking about in New Zealand. Now, how long till that comes to Europe, to the United States, to Canada, to anywhere? Okay. To Australia. I mean, hell, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump, New Zealand, from you guys. I mean, and, you know, the Aussie government isn't exactly what I call people-friendly at the moment either. Anybody ever watched one of Aussie Cossacks videos? I mean, hell, he went to jail for something, for, I think, 90 days or something like that, for some bullshit trumped-up charges. But this is, this is, the, this is how far they're willing to take this battle, the, the elites, the globalists. What's next? Concentration camps? I mean, everything we keep saying is going to happen, and they go, oh, it's never going to happen. We're not going to do it. Six months later, all of a sudden, that's what they're doing. Okay? You know, again, like I said in this morning's video, when the FBI is more concerned about calling people at school board meeting terrorists than actually going after the true terrorists, that are coming across the southern border. There were, what, seven seven or something like that apprehended in El Paso over the weekend? Okay, how many got through? You know, seven people that were on terrorist watch lists were apprehended trying to come into the United States. What's going to happen to them? Oh, I don't know. Are they going to get a $250 fine? You know, according to Joe. Oh, they're, ju they're just... Un, un, unknown people, they, you know, they're just a little confused. We'll straighten them out. You know, they're, they're free phones and free houses and, and job working, you know, weeding out Cher's garden will, will change their mind. Right. Okay. But this, this is, this is the kind of stuff we need to watch for guys. When, if you disagree with the government, I mean, this is 1984 in, real life. Okay. You know, there is only one truth and we'll tell you what it is and agree with it or die. 